Did you know that over 800,000 people suffer a heart attack each year in the U.S. alone? What's even more shocking, some of the medications you take every day could be increasing your risk without you even realizing it. From common painkillers to antidepressants, research has linked several widely used drugs to heart attacks and cardiovascular issues. In this video, we'll reveal eight medications backed by research that could be silently harming your heart and what you can do to stay safe. Let's dive in. 1. NSAIDs Painkillers like ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, and naproxen, Aleve, are widely used to relieve pain, inflammation, and fever. However, research has linked long-term and even short-term use of NSAIDs to an increased risk of heart attack. A 2017 study published in the British medical journal, BMJ, found that taking NSAIDs for as little as one week could raise the risk of a heart attack by 20-50%, to 50 depending on the dosage. NSAIDs can cause cardiovascular issues by affecting prostaglandins, hormone-like substances that regulate blood vessel function. These drugs can lead to fluid retention, increased blood pressure, and arterial constriction, making the heart work harder. Over time, this strain increases the likelihood of blood clots, which can trigger a heart attack or stroke. The risk is particularly high for individuals with pre-existing heart conditions, high blood pressure, or a history of heart disease. Even those without heart problems should be cautious with frequent NSAID use. To reduce risks, use the lowest possible dose for the shortest duration. If you need pain relief frequently, Consider alternatives like acetaminophen, Tylenol, physical therapy, or anti-inflammatory foods such as turmeric and ginger. Always consult a doctor before prolonged NSAID use. 2. Some antidepressants, SSRIs and SNRIs. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, and serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs are widely prescribed for depression and anxiety. Common SSRIs include fluoxetine, Prozac, Sertraline, Zoloft, and Acetylopram, Lexapro, while SNRIs include Venlafaxine, Effexor, and Deloxetine, Cymbalta. These medications work by increasing serotonin and norepinephrine levels in the brain, improving mood and emotional stability. However, research suggests that SSRIs and SNRIs may increase the risk of heart-related issues, particularly in individuals with pre-existing cardiovascular conditions. A 2018 study published in JAMA Psychiatry found that SSRIs could lead to an increased risk of abnormal heart rhythms, blood clot formation, and higher blood pressure. Additionally, these medications can reduce platelet aggregation, meaning blood doesn't clot as effectively, which might raise the risk of bleeding-related complications, including hemorrhagic stroke. The risk is more pronounced in older adults and those with heart disease, high blood pressure, or a history of stroke. While the benefits of antidepressants often outweigh the risks, caution is necessary. If you have heart concerns, talk to your doctor about alternative treatments, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT lifestyle changes, and exercise, which can naturally boost serotonin levels. Never stop antidepressants abruptly, gradual tapering is essential. 3. Calcium Channel Blockers Calcium channel blockers, CCBs, are commonly prescribed to treat high blood pressure, chest pain, angina, and certain heart rhythm disorders. Popular CCBs include amlodipine, Norvasc, Diltiazem, Cartazem, and Verapamil, Calin. These medications work by relaxing blood vessels and reducing the heart's workload, which helps lower blood pressure. However, studies have linked some calcium channel blockers to an increased risk of heart attack and heart failure, especially in high doses or prolonged use. A study published in Circulation found that certain CCBs, particularly short acting ones, were associated with a 25% increased risk of heart attack in some patients. These drugs can lead to fluid retention, which may worsen heart failure and cause low blood pressure, leading to dizziness or fainting. Additionally, some CCBs may interfere with heart rhythms, 
potentially increasing the risk of arrhythmias in susceptible individuals. People with pre-existing heart disease, low blood pressure, or a history of heart failure should be especially cautious. If you're taking a calcium channel blocker, monitor for side effects like swelling, dizziness, or irregular heartbeat. Discuss with your doctor whether alternative blood pressure medications, such as ACE inhibitors or beta blockers, might be a safer option for you. 4. Some diabetes medications. Certain diabetes medications, particularly older drugs in the thiazolidinidian TZD, class, have been linked to an increased risk of heart attacks and other cardiovascular issues. One of the most well-known examples is rosaglitazone, Avandia, which was widely prescribed to help control blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. However, a landmark 2007 study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that rosaglitazone was associated with a 43% increased risk of heart attacks and a 64% higher risk of cardiovascular death. Due to these findings, the FDA restricted its use in 2010, though some limitations were later lifted. The problem with these medications lies in how they affect the heart. TZDs can cause fluid retention, leading to swelling, increased blood pressure, and extra strain on the heart. Over time, this can worsen heart failure or trigger cardiac events in high-risk individuals. If you're taking rosaglitazone or other high-risk diabetes medications, talk to your doctor about alternatives. Metformin, SGLT2 inhibitors, and GLP-1 receptor agonists have been shown to be safer for the heart. Additionally, lifestyle changes like a balanced diet and regular exercise can improve blood sugar control while reducing cardiovascular risks. 5. Decongestants Decongestants like pseudoephedrine, pseudofed, and phenylephrine, found in many over-the-counter cold and flu medications, are commonly used to relieve nasal congestion. They work by constricting blood vessels in the nasal passages, reducing swelling and making it easier to breathe. However, these same effects can pose serious risks to heart health. Pseudoephedrine and phenylephrine can increase blood pressure and heart rate, placing extra strain on the cardiovascular system. A study published in the American Journal of Medicine found that pseudoephedrine use can significantly raise blood pressure and the risk of heart attacks especially in people with hypertension, heart disease, or a history of stroke. These medications can also trigger irregular heart rhythms, arrhythmias, and may lead to chest pain or palpitations in sensitive individuals. The risks are even higher for those who consume caffeine, smoke, or take other medications that affect blood pressure. In rare cases, excessive use of decongestants has been linked to sudden cardiac events in people with underlying heart conditions. If you have high blood pressure or heart disease, avoid decongestants and opt for natural remedies like steam inhalation, saline nasal sprays, or antihistamines if allergies are a factor. Always check labels and consult your doctor before using these medications. 6. Some Chemotherapy Drugs while chemotherapy is essential for treating cancer, some drugs can have serious side effects on the heart. Certain chemotherapy agents, especially anthracyclines like doxorubicin, adriamycin, and fluorouracil, 5-FU, have been linked to cardiotoxicity, which can weaken the heart muscle and increase the risk of heart attacks. A study published in JACC. Cardio-oncology found that doxorubicin can lead to heart failure in up to 26% of patients, especially at high doses or with prolonged use. This drug damages heart cells by generating free radicals, which can cause inflammation and scarring in the heart tissue. Fluorouracil, commonly used for colon and breast cancer, has also been associated with coronary artery spasms, which can restrict blood flow and trigger heart attacks. Patients undergoing chemotherapy may experience shortness of breath, chest pain, or irregular heartbeats, indicating potential heart strain. The risk increases for those with pre-existing heart disease or high blood pressure. If you're receiving chemotherapy, your doctor may perform regular heart function tests, like echocardiograms, to monitor for damage. Some medications, like dextrozoxane, 
can help protect the heart. Maintaining a healthy diet, staying active, and avoiding smoking can also reduce heart risks during cancer treatment. 7. Testosterone and Anabolic Steroids Testosterone therapy and anabolic steroids are often used to boost muscle growth, enhance athletic performance, or treat low testosterone levels. While these substances can improve strength and energy, they also come with serious risks to heart health. A 2017 study published in JAMA Internal Medicine found that men who started testosterone therapy had a 30% increased risk of heart attacks and strokes within the first three months of use. Testosterone and anabolic steroids can raise red blood cell counts, which thickens the blood and increases the risk of blood clots, high blood pressure, and heart attacks. These substances also lower HDL, good, cholesterol and increase LDL, bad, cholesterol, further contributing to artery blockages. Anabolic steroids, often abused by bodybuilders, pose an even greater risk. Studies show they can lead to left ventricular hypertrophy, a condition where the heart's walls thicken, making it harder for the heart to pump blood efficiently. Long-term steroid use has been linked to sudden cardiac death, even in young athletes. Only use testosterone therapy if prescribed by a doctor and monitored through regular blood tests. Avoid anabolic steroids altogether and focus on natural ways to boost testosterone, such as strength training, healthy fats, and proper sleep. 8. Some Heartburn Medications, PPIs Proton Pump Inhibitors, PPIs, like Omeprazole, Prilosec, Esomeprazole, Nexium, and Lansoprazole, Prevacid, are commonly used to treat acid reflux, GERD, and ulcers by reducing stomach acid production. While effective, long-term use of PPIs has been linked to an increased risk of heart attacks and other cardiovascular issues. A Stanford University study analyzed medical records of over 3 million people and found that PPI users had a 16-21% to higher risk of heart attacks, even in those without prior heart disease. The suspected reason is that PPIs may reduce nitric oxide production, which is essential for keeping blood vessels flexible and open. Over time, this can lead to stiffer arteries, higher blood pressure, and an increased risk of blood clots, all of which contribute to heart attacks. PPIs have also been associated with magnesium deficiencies, which can lead to irregular heart rhythms, arrhythmias, and muscle weakness. The risk is particularly high for people using PPIs for months or years. Use PPIs only as needed and explore safer alternatives like H2 blockers, famotidine, dietary changes, and natural remedies such as ginger, aloe vera, and probiotics. If you need long-term acid reflux treatment, consult your doctor about heart-friendly options. Your health is in your hands. While these medications can be life-saving, it's important to understand their potential risks, especially when it comes to your heart. Always talk to your doctor before starting or stopping any medication and explore safer alternatives when possible. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might need this information. Don't forget to subscribe for more science-backed health tips. Stay informed, stay healthy, and take care.